Hi and welcome to All Things Styled by Pam. This is my hallway bathroom and I'm getting ready to pull out, as you can see, all the wire shelving that is in this uh, hallway bathroom. And I was so glad to get rid of this wiring shelving. And it was a lot to take out. And that is because I did not know that there were, um, the wire shelving had wall anchors in the wall. And this is everything that I took out of the closet. And as you can see, it is a big mess everywhere. So stay tuned so that way we can go ahead and get into how I change my closet. Okay, what you're looking at right here is all of the wall anchors that I pulled out of the wall in the hallway closet. And I had to fill 36 holes in my wall. Okay, what you're looking at is the wall that I pulled all of the wall anchors out. And it was a lot of wall anchors in that wall. Okay, this is the first one that I got up. I have four more to do. Okay, let me show you one of the things that I'm doing. I'm pre-drilling the holes inside of the side pieces, as you can see right here, because what I'm doing is I'm installing wall anchors and I did, that's what the lines are for on the top and in the bottom. So that way, when I get ready to put this piece up right here, it will go right into the holes of the wall anchors. So I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Okay, I have all of the cleats that I put up and that is what you call these uh, strips, uh, pieces, strips, pieces of wood. These are called clips from the videos that I saw. I made sure that all of them are even. And my, oh, my hands, <laughs> they dry. I made sure all of them are even. I did. And this is one of the shelves that I cut to uh put because i did four rows which was already here but i didn't use the same holes that were already up here i made new ones because i wanted to bring this one up higher so that way i could store more up under here and let me get my level just to show you that all of them are even okay and it took some time and what i also did was i made sure that the ones on the side because i didn't have a smaller leveler i made sure that they were even as well um all the way up all the way down so it took some time let me see if all of the shelving will fit because i did make some mistakes on some of the cuts so we'll see okay this is with all four shelves in okay they're not perfect 
but I did the best I could because I have a saw and I had to flip them over. Normally, I don't have a problem with flipping them over and cutting, continue cutting them. But these uh, bad boys <laughs> gave me a hard time. You probably can't see um, the distance that I have. Now, I do have this one the widest because I think I'm going to put um, maybe towels or sheets on this one. That's the reason why I made this one wider. And plus, I have the top up there. So, what I'm going to do is... I was going to make these into floating shelves where I put a piece up under here as well and then something across here. So I may do that later or wait until my husband is not traveling um, to help me with it. Now see, this is the thing. When you buy these type of boards that are, uh, that are white, even though I think they're MDF, I think... Home Depot will not cut them because they're afraid that they will splinter. So they won't cut them at all for you. You have to uh, cut them because they won't. And I really wish that they would, if I'm buying it, then I'll take the risk on it being um, splintered. Um, I, because like I said, I don't have a table saw. If I had a table saw, I probably could have cut these perfectly, but I'm going to look over them. I'm going to have to pull them back out, uh, because I have another piece that I'm going to add in the front of them and I'll be back. Okay. I am back and I know I'm kind of close, but that is my phone. Let me see if I can. Okay. I backed up just a little bit for you. Now, what you're looking at is what I decided to do. I added trim, okay, around this right here, as well as in the front, okay? So, I wanted to make sure that when you look up, you just don't see something plain, but you see something added to what I did. So... I like the do because I felt like it was missing something and I know it probably took away a little bit of space where I could brought something out a little bit more, but I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that and I haven't nailed them down or anything because I got to pull them back out again so that way I can paint the wood and the overall closet itself. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And when I do paint it, because I'm doing this, you know, a little bit at a time during, you know, at a, during the day. So I don't want to rush and try to finish it. But I'm going to get it done. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like before it got painted. Really quickly, this is the trim that I used um, to put on the outside of the shelving unit and it was a longer piece than that but I winded up um, cutting it down and I also use this right here as the cleats to be able to hold up the shelving unit so I'll be back okay my hallway bathroom closet is now finished I just got through caulking the uh, the shelving unit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a second coat on this. I only did the four shelves that you see in front of you. These two are closer together, and as you go up, um, they get further apart. So that way I can fold up up here, so that way I can fold up blankets, um, whatever towels that I need to put up top. And what I also did was, and I'm uh, afraid to put my finger up here because it may blur it out, but what I did was to cover up the raw wood right there, I put a piece of trim across there and I also brought it down here as well. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So that is the reason why I did that. And because 
I know I have the braces um, or cleats that are under here and I didn't want them to be so noticeable. And like I said, I could have did on uh, floating shelves, but I chose not to because I wanted to make sure that I had enough wood just to do the four shelves that I did. And I'm really loving how it came out. I really am. I pushed the cabinets, um, the shelving unit back some because the wires that I, the wire uh, shelving that was up here, it was out further. I want to be able to stick a my vacuum cleaner or my uh, uh, Swiffer Jet inside of here. So that's the reason why I pushed the shelf, the shelving unit back. And let me tell you, I am really proud of myself. And I took something from YouTube, a video, videos that I saw, and I just made it my own. You can do whatever you choose to do, but I wanted to, uh, you know, beef it up just a little bit. And that's the reason why I added the second piece right here on all of the shelving units. And this is what I got to put back up on the shelving. I'm going to give it a little while beef and let it cure just a little bit. I also uh, recocked my baseboard down here as well. And I repainted the trimming on the outside of the door. So that way when you open the closet door, it will look it will look really good. So this is what, and y'all know me, y'all know I like to keep it real, okay? So this is the trash that was left over. This is everything that I need to put back up. And I know it's kind of dark, but these are the wiring shelving that were up there that I took down. So let me go ahead and let that cure for just a little while and see if I can go ahead and put everything back up and then I'll show you what it looks okay, like. Okay, I am back and I am sitting on my sink <laughs> because I don't have that much space in this bathroom. So this is everything that I put back up here, okay? Up there, I have my steamer. Up there, I have the Clorox 2 for colors. On this shelf right here, I have all of my uh, Lysol, uh, Lysol wipes, um, uh, Centivia, uh, uh, disinfecting wipes as well. So all of that is on this shelf right here and my Microband 24 hour uh, multi-purpose cleaner, that is up there. And on this shelf, I have all of my um, antibacterial fabric spray, hand sanitizers, um, the antibacterial soap, and some more uh, wipes. And on this shelf right here, I have my glass cleaner, my uh, pledge, and what I need to clean with, including right here, my microfiber cloth. And right there, you see my trusty um, cart that I use when I do clean up. I take, every, I take some of the items that I need, put it into that cart, so I won't be running back and forth. And it fits perfectly inside of this closet now that I have redone it. So, and I do have still a little bit of room up there and I have a little bit of room on this shelf and mm, just a tiny bit on this shelf right here. I just wanna make sure that I have a place for all my cleaning products that I need or especially when people come over. So that way I can just come in here not have to run downstairs or run in my room. And let me tell you, this shelving already, I was screaming, I love it, I love it, I love it. Nothing is falling over from the wire racks, which is a plus. Plus, I've got more items up here than I did on the wire rack. 
So, I hope that you enjoyed my video. And I am going to be updating my bathroom or cleaning up my bathroom. And I hope you stay tuned for that. And I got some other videos that I got to do that are coming up. And I need to see if my vacuum cleaner will fit in here. I'm sure that it will. And if you want to see anything that I'm doing or what I'm up to, please join me on my Instagram at Diamond2872. I would be happy to have you over there. And yes, I do keep a ladder in my bathroom <laughs> because I've been needing it so much and I need to pick up the baskets on the floor. So thank you for watching All Things Styled by Pam. And I hope that this gives you some ideas to do in your bathroom. And always remember to put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.